uh, in my last two videos of incest and the effect of alcoholism to the family, the magnitude is much. In this video, I would like to discuss on the types and the signs of inappropriate father-daughter relationship. Probably you are wondering why I'm focusing more on the daughters. The daughters, I'm focusing on them because they are very vulnerable and yet their success can be a pillar and a foundation to a future family. They play a very critical role. A mother plays a very critical role. Even if the father is not a very effective person in the family and the mother is such a strong willed personality, the children might end up being strong in matters of personality. Now, uh, I would like to talk about uh, an emotionally distant father. Who is an emotionally distant father? These are fathers who are physically present but don't show much interest in their life and they avoid communication to their daughters. They don't seem to show any interest. And then, what is going to happen to such behavior? What is going to happen? Their daughters are likely to engage in destructive behavior in order to gain attention. And you find that this one is going to affect even the relationship when it comes to boyfriend, girlfriend relationship, or even when they get married, they are going to be struggling. They will become clingy, dependent on someone so that it creates arouses attention. What they learned with their father who was emotionally distant. And so it is very important for fathers not to distance themselves, not to seem as if they are not interested with their daughters. I hope you have understood that. <coughs> Sorry. Then there is a father who spoils the daughter. What do I mean by spoiling the daughter? They give her everything. They don't even care about the amount of money which they give her. She take care of the daughter that then now this become a problem because it's going to create a sense of entitlement. The girl ends up believing that she's always going to have a will, even in the society. Either in school, either in the working place, wherever she is, she thinks that she should always have a will. Whatever she wants, she should always get it. Why? The father was always giving her everything she wants. And so, what is the result of this? It makes her selfish and egocentric, self-centered. And you see, what is going to happen also, they might also become, they are also going to arouse a feelings of hate and jealousy in the mother who might feel that the father is giving only the daughter attention and is neglecting her. And so they are likely, there is likelihood of having conflict between the mother and the daughter and the father end up behaving as if the daughter is a co-wife to the mother. And this one creates a conflict in the family. Then there is, a, there is what we call the controlling father. And what do we mean by a controlling father? This controlling father, he end up becoming so dominant on the lives of the daughter. He determines the career, he determines the friend, well, the friends she has to have, in the aspect of the decision making, she wants actually to be interested with everything, even to an extent, even on asking her to, to give him the phone to see who are friends in the, in the phone book. And you see, now what does this app? What, why is it that behaving this way? This is actually an extreme love of the father and the daughter and now what is going to happen? 
What is going to happen is going to create a situation where the daughter can, even in later life, she cannot be able to make her own decisions. She creates, she just has to depend on someone to guide her life. She cannot even decide, even in terms of the career, because her father did not give her a chance to be independent. She, has, she is also likely to be misled by other people because they can mislead her when it comes to decision making. Then there is the dependent father. This dependent father, this is a very unhealthy relationship. It is actually a role reversal. And what can happen? This can happen, for example, when the father becomes sick. On the other side, may not be just sick, but the father may be an alcoholic, may just be a drunkard, and so they have to depend on the daughter in terms of the emotions, in terms of the physical needs, in terms of the mental needs, and so you find that that now the daughter end up doing roles, performing roles which she should not be performing. So now the father become dependent on the daughter and this one creates a lot of problem. So you find that this comes in a situation where the father is incapable of taking care of himself. This one affects the daughter, she end up doing the role which a mother is supposed to do. And finally, number five, is the all very critical father. The father is so critical on the daughter, is always negative on the daughter, is constant complaining about the daughter, belittling her efforts, comparing a daughter to other people, to other, to other girls, is never appreciative, is never doesn't even praise the daughter. And what is the result? The result of this is the daughter is going to have low self-esteem. She is also going to be constantly asking for validation from her father, and not only from her father, even a partner, even a boyfriend, and even a girlfriend. So she will always be working to, to try to ask, how am I performing? She is not sure of herself. She is not confident of herself, and she is doubting herself. And I believe this aspect will be understood more when I cover a video on the imposter syndrome and its effect. So now this one affects the daughter, affects her personality, affects her self-esteem. Self and so I'm talking to the fathers, be very, very careful when you are handling your daughters, it is going to affect their personality even in the years to come. Thank you very much for listening to me. I'm hoping that you have understood the inappropriate father-daughter relationship and how it can affect their personality later in life. I would encourage you to subscribe to A Moment with Rukwaru. If you have not done so, it's going to be beneficial. Otherwise, thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you.